Good mm. afternoon, To be honest, I think we made a very good start in the game. Created a lot of chances. I think in the first 30 minutes, probably created more than 70 chances. But unfortunately, when you don't take those chances, you hit the upright twice. I think Peter's head I was just short of a direction, but everything else was good. Uh, and when, you, when you can score, when you start to panic, you start to to develop an element of anxiety. I say enough, we kept pushing the game. Unfortunately, even though there are some moments we could have, could have capitalized on, I think, and she, she could have could have scored. I think the same could have done something. Uh, there are many moments that we created, but not as clear as as the first half ones. I think uh, in the extra time we made our life very difficult. Uh, but thanks to Dennis for taking it, for taking one for the team, because I think uh, had he not made that save or that foul, we, we could be talking a different story. I think after the red card we recollected ourselves. Structurally we again we gained control of the game. And fortunately we managed to get a goal from them. Uh, but overall, uh, if there's any element of unhappiness, it would be in the number of chances that we missed because most of the questions would not be asked if the chances were buried. Thank you. Thank you very much, Coach. Questions from the floor? Okay, get the microphone. Thanks, Fatou. Um, it's a lot of push. Um, coach, um, yesterday, uh, Coach Tinkler said um, qualifying for the next round gives you more more time to, to play even more and maybe get your, your structure in place. Um, you, you spoke about being a bit more direct, and it was it was evident today because even in transition, you were more direct instead of rotating the ball. And the chances that you talked about, I mean, you hit the crossbar twice in the first half. Um, are you are you are you happy that you made it through, and then you get to, to play more intended games before the league resumes, and so that the the things that you want to do or the things that you want the boys to do um, are more polished going forward. As you learn as to be. The objective was, was always one. We wanted to get through to the semi-finals, and uh, that has been achieved. But you are also right <coughs> that the first match of the season will always have some elements of anxiety, some elements of desperation, and maybe sometimes even more caused by the level of motivation of wanting to try and make sure that you don't disappoint the coach and what when he gives you an opportunity. And I think that's that's where some of the mistakes bothered around because I think some of the players did not perform at the level that I expected because they made some silly mistakes technically and they started to lose the momentum of the game. But uh, I'm very happy uh, that we are through to the next round because it gives us an opportunity to, to build uh, from what we have. And also, maybe the setback of getting a red card uh, it's also good for the team because it also builds a little bit of character. And I always like these moments. That's why sometimes I always say every cloud has got a silver lining. Because when you get a red card and you are able to sustain uh, everything and continue and still win the match, that will never be forgotten. It's an investment that you have for the season because it means even next time when you get a red card, you will still be looking at still fighting to win the match. Thank you. Good evening, Coach. <clears throat> Congratulations on the victory. Uh, Coach, when you've got a player such as uh, Riviero in, 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 on your team, I mean, we've seen a couple of times what he does with the ball. Uh, it, it looks like he's a player that you must give him the ball and give the rest of the squad another ball because he just loves it and he's good with it. Do you, do you think he will be at Sunlance for a long time with the talent that he has? And how blessed are you to have such a player in your squad? I think it's a blessing. I think there's a lot of positives uh, in his game. Uh, I think he's still going to help us a lot. But there are also elements of his game that must also improve. Uh, maybe that is what would help him to, to get other bigger opportunities in Europe. The good thing is that he works very hard and uh, he's a team player. 
but sometimes I think he he tends to to be consumed mm-hmm. by by the outside forces in the game and lose the focus of the match. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when you put a player like that, it's easy for for opposition to to always poke him so that he gets out of the game. Because I do think he had a very good start, <coughs> but immediately after those few fouls that were not given and uh, the yellow card that he got, then he, he tend to, to go back into his shell and it was difficult for him to come back. We were hoping that he would come back, but it was not. It was not. But uh, in terms of talent, he's no doubt one of the best players we have. But I still believe there is, there is a lot of work to be done. Of course, I uh, just want to ask about the squad here. So why did you loan him and you didn't just loan him, you loan him with an option to sell him? Why? Uh, I want to answer this one. I think it was the best decision of the club. Thank you very much. Okay, so on. Um, coach, congratulations on the victory. Um, Rimba, since he's got his player in his midfield at the back, where we saw him playing today, is that where you see him playing? Is that his preferred position for you? Just how do you think he performed today? If you, if, if you remember very well, I think I was the one who also advised Coach Pizzo that we should use him in the midfield. Because to me, he is that player that should not be outside the pitch, no matter what, because he's got so much that he offers. As a center back, he's very good, but obviously there are games where you might be looking for something different, uh, and he might give you something in the midfield. So I'm trying the best I can to make at least each and every player to have at least two positions, so that we do not have the pressure of moving people around. Like today, now we ended up playing as a fullback, but it's something that we have, we have practiced because we, we want them to, to know sometimes when you want more offensive play, and we, we could have easily resorted to trying to be more defensive and play Musa at left back and, and bring Grant for the game, but we still have to chase the game, we still have to try and get something out of the game. That's why we, we used now in that space. But the truth of the matter is almost every player that we have, we are trying the best we can to, to give him a second position. Probably it's only the goalkeepers that are safe. But maybe when tennis calls a header one day, he will not be safe. <laughs> we would appreciate that he can also be a striker. So uh, the truth is, he, he is a very versatile player. He's, he's very important to the club, and I think he's playing for the world and send up against well. Coach, uh, does just to follow up on this Modiba's emergence in the team as an eight now since preseason and start of the season now made that Escobar decision easier. And you talk about looking for things different, some different options. Um, they say that Ikra Reynes will arrive this week. Wide left, something pacey up front. Is that the difference that you're looking for? Uh, <coughs> I think we, we've always preferred Opry as, as an eight. Uh, even Coach Ulana, I do not want to take the credit of playing him as an eight because even Coach Ulana was playing with that. Uh, because we think he's got a lot more to give in the midfield than, than just a, a, as a fullback. And also the, the intensity that we want probably on the fullbacks, considering that most winners in South Africa are quite quick. It's a little bit important to try and have fullbacks that can really react to to these situations in the world challenge. We have got Apollos, we've got all the players that are playing white. Ramabu is also was also helpful. Jamini was also helpful. So you need a little bit of speed uh, in those areas and the creativity that Opry has because in the midfield I think you can play both as an eight, as a six and even as a ten you can play. So it is very important in our creative uh, structure in the club. And then it's for Ikram, we are happy to have him because he will, he will add something uh, to the club. Uh, I'm looking at him more for the Champions League than even the PSL. In as much as he will help us in the PSL, but I think in the Champions League he will really give us something. Mm-hmm.
I just want to pick up on something a bit different. Um, what would be your message to some of the Sundowns fans who seems to be, uh, and I'm, I'm not sure what would be the right English word, but to be unsatisfied or unhappy that she has been given a one-year contract extension? necessarily means he, he will be out of the club after one year. But for him to stay sharp, uh, it's important that he knows he has to fight for the next contract. And I think if all PSL teams can adopt that, it will be the best thing that we can do for our football. Because most of this of senior players, they want to get a for a contract. Because they know they are looking for retirement. And you want them to perform them. I think it's, it's, it's a good thing, and I think Mishishi is the right player for that because he is a very professional player. He will work very hard. He will know he cannot sit on his laurels. He has to give it his best shot, and I'm very confident he will, he will do very well. Coach Menem, the club has been so dominant in the last 10 years. How do you handle the situation where? anything less than A is regarded as some sort of failure because of the standards that you guys have sort of set for yourself. We are still going to be doing that. Um, okay. Uh, Coach, will you still continue? Sorry. No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, last one from my <coughs> okay. uh, Coach, I wanted to ask about Jody. Uh, do you expect the goalkeeping department to be a lot stronger? You can see came on after the red card, didn't look out of place, but I think this is only his second official game in Sun, for Sundown since he, he signed from, from, from Cape Town. Just his performance and you expect him to play a bigger role this, this season. To be honest, I think there's been a big mind, mindset change in the new paradigm uh, in him because he came in the preseason very early and looking in very good shape, and he has had a, a very good precision with us. And uh, I was happy for him to get even a game, though it was under wrong circumstances, but it was nice to see him in an official match and we end up winning that match because, uh, like I said, every cloud has got a silver lining. Sometimes it's important for these boys to get into this into the deep end so that they can swim and, and see what you have after that, because now, him and uh, Riyad and Sunday they have to fight very hard once Ronin is still out to make sure that we, we continue where, where, we, where we have ended with. So it's important that a player like him gets a chance to play. And I believe he's a very good goalkeeper. Uh, it's just that maybe before 
he, he, he lacked a bit of personality, but I think now he understands what he has to do and take it from me. He's looking very good. All right, thank you very much for coming here. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.